So now in this video, we're going to look at the PNP, Bipolar Junction Transistor, Emitter Follower. You could also call it a Common Collector. Two names for the same circuit, and uh, maybe even you could call it a Voltage Follower, although I think I see that more with uh, op amps than uh, transistors. But in any case, we have a, a voltage that we give to the base, and the voltage we give to the base is transferred to the emitter. So if it is 5 volts, we actually have 0.6 volts above that at the emitter. That is the main takeaway. So that works good if you want an output signal. So I can't provide current. You can see we got a 10 kilo ohm resistor there. We can modify that. But really it's not good for providing current. Uh, you know, some current, but uh, not a lot of current to power like an LED or something. But uh, it is good for a weak signal. You give that voltage to say another transistor, an NPN bipolar junction transistor. That's probably what we'll do in the next video. That one took 5.6 volts and output 5 volts, which is nice if that's what you want, 5 volts. You could set the trim pot to 5 volts. You'd have 5.6 there, you feed it to the NPN. It outputs uh, 5 instead of 5.6. So that's probably the circuit we'll look at in the next video. I did add an LED and a resistor for demonstration purposes. But you can see we need the load on the emitter side for it to be an emitter follower. So the load follows the emitter, goes from the emitter to the supply voltage, which for a PNP bipolar junction transistor is the positive side of the supply. You want the collector on the uh, negative side, in this case ground, and uh, you don't want to get these pins mixed up. You definitely want the collector to ground the emitter to the positive supply. I went into detail why with the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm not going to on this one. Just a lot of circuits you get away with putting the transistor emitter and collector backwards. This is not one you want to uh, do that. You can see here if I go turn the trim pot up to the positive supply, then we have the full supply voltage of 10 volts across the uh, base and collector which is fine for base and collector but not for base and emitter so in any case we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor there to help hold the voltage if you need more current you could go with a lower value resistor or uh, whatnot but uh, usually 10 kilo ohms will work fine as I said if you're going to use it for a signal just send it to an amplifier that's looking at the voltage don't try to power anything if you want to power something you have to go to the positive supply. So that's what we're going to do with the LEDs. And I really wish I put the LED there and the resistor up there. But it doesn't matter. They're in series. Whichever order you put them, it will uh, work the same electrically. It just looks a little odd. It's also a little odd that the uh, transistor is on the ground side of it. So as I said, we got 5 volts there. It transfers that voltage. But since it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor, the voltage goes up about 0.6 volts when wired as an emitter follower or common collector like we have here. So we'll have 5.6 volts there, but we have 10 volts there. And I uh, wrote the wrong number, I wrote 4.6 volts, but we'll have 4.6 volts across the load. So that's if we set the trim pot to 5 volts, and uh, which will give us 5.6 out. If this was uh, 6 volts, then that would be 6.6 .6 volts at that point. We got 10 there. So we would have 3.6 volts across the load. It goes that way. So for this particular load, the farther we get from the positive supply, actually the more voltage across the load and the more current that will flow through it. So now here we are at the circuit on the board. Here is the transistor. So that's the collector. This is the flat edge. It's a 2N3906. Different transistors have different pin layouts, but if it starts with 2N, nothing before the 2 though, just 2N and then the numbers, then it is probably the same pin layout. So flat edge, down at the bottom is the collector, middle pin is the base, and at the uh, top pin is the emitter. So it's facing the opposite way of how I usually put an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So we have the LED, and uh, so more positive to top, Longer lead anode up, shorter lead cathode down, and then the cathode connected to the emitter is also connected to the 10 kilo ohm resistor. We have a 510 ohm resistor protecting the LED. The reason why is because for every volt across it, we'll get about 2 milliamps of current. So it makes estimating uh, things easier and 
with a 10 volt power supply, we can get, you know, relatively close to 20 milliamps since we have 10 volts and uh, you get twice that, but there are some voltage losses that uh, before it gets to the resistor. But uh, in any case, there you can see this is being powered. We have the trim pot to the positive supply. The LED is off. I have to turn the trim pot down and the LED gets brighter as I get lower right there. And uh, also, if we put the transistor in backwards, right now it would conduct if the emitter was down there. So it has to have the collector down there. We have the 10 volts across the base to emitter. It's important we put it in the right direction. So, in any case, there you can see we have uh, 10 volts. I limit the current to 20 milliamps to protect the LED. And in case I put the transistor backwards, it'll limit the current to 20 milliamps. Hopefully it won't get damaged. So now let's come back to the oscilloscope. First we can take a look at the voltage of the power supply right there. And it's off of the screen because there's eight squares there. So I can turn the dial there, go to two volts per square. There you can see two, four, six, eight, ten, right there. So we uh, are gonna stay under eight volts unless for the voltages we're most interested in which we'll start off with the uh, trim pot. So I can actually plug into the middle right there and uh, it's up above 10. So let's get it a little bit below eight. There you can see right there. And uh, that's enough to get the LED going. But in any case, we can also go there. Same spot electrically because of that little jumper there. Anywhere along there, that's one node. That's what's called a node where all the components are connected directly to each other with metal. So, in any case, we have that voltage there. Let us lower the voltage to five volts, since that was the example I gave in the sheet right there. So we got five volts, hopefully you could see that uh, just fine. Now, if I go to the emitter, so I'll just zoom in. If I go to the emitter, so up one spot, you'll see about 5.6 volts right there. That went up. So we got uh, more voltage there. The main thing is though, this voltage is being taken away, the voltage you see there, from the LED. That's why as the voltage goes up, the LED gets dimmer. We have to look at the voltage across the LED, which I did the math, should be about 4.4 volts, approximately. So these are approximations. And uh, there you can see, it looks like it's falling a little shy of uh, 4.4. Uh, four volts for whatever, but it's a little bit above four right there. So again, they're approximations. They're not exact. And uh, so we could do more testing to see why it's not quite 4.4 volts. But uh, in any case, this is good enough for this video. It was just to show how the uh, PMP bipolar junction transistor emitter works. Really, that's really awkward to power a load like this, but it's good for learning electronics. Any, anything that uh, you make a circuit with in electronics is an educational experience if you are not already extremely familiar with it. The main thing is that uh, we set five volts right there and uh, or whatever voltage we set and the emitter will be about 0.6 volts higher. Again though, that cannot provide much current. You, you couldn't uh, send that to ground to power something that throws the uh, voltage uh, way off. So you have to give that to another amplifier. An NPN bipolar junction transistor amplifier works great because again, 5.6 volts in equals five volts out, which is what we set the uh, trim pot to. And so if we had an NPN bipolar junction transistor as uh, another part of the uh, circuit, the voltage that we set will be the same voltage that we get out. And the NPN bipolar junction transistor is really good powering stuff at that voltage. So I'm pretty certain that will be the next video. But in any case, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out uh, the most. But just watching the videos helps out a ton. I'll see you in the next videos.